Nelson was born June 17, 1937. He attended Swarthmore College, Harvard, and Keough University, where he studied philosophy, sociology, and media and government. Ted Nelson is now a philosopher most known for inventing Hypertext, Project Xanadu, In Love, Trends Publishing, and ZigZag. Each of these products brought something new to the internet. Hypertext is the concept behind links, and Project Xanadu is a hypertext system that assures the identity of references to object and solves the problem of configuration management and copyright control. This made information available to everyone, like the internet does today. Product Xanadu kind of seems similar to the operating system in her, just because of all the information Samantha provides Theodore. I think Ted Nelson would think this is exactly what the future would look like and wouldn't dismiss it for a second. Without Nelson's invention, an operating system could not exist or have all the information it does today. I think the title of the movie leads you to believe it's about a woman, not an operating system. And I think they named it that way because to grab viewers attention rather than calling it as it was a operating system or just Samantha. Some interface systems leading us to Samantha are Apple Siri, Google's Alexa, or Windows Cortana. All these systems talk and alert you of things going on in your life. And Alexa can even order you things automatically and talk back at the sound of her name when calling it using the system. I do think her is a desirable future for most humans. Like everything, there will be some resistance, but in the end, it was invented to make life easier. The pros of Samantha are it keeps you very organized and on task. And the cons are it could know your whole life, which is kind of creepy in itself. When I first watched her, I didn't see any of the digital art until a few times later. Like After the third viewing, I saw little elements of digital art projected in the background. Every time I travel, I see art everywhere, whether it's a statue in a park, or painting, or a picture in an airport. Digital art really is everywhere. And life one day will be a hyper-reality with inventions of robots and driverless cars.